Hello everyone. So what we are going to learn today is cell viability and cytotoxicity. In this lesson, we learn about the cell viability, cytotoxicity, basic concepts, and then the limitations of in vitro cytotoxic studies, tissue and systemic responses, then the metabolism, pharmacokinetics. So let's start with the lesson. Now, cell viability. Cell viability, we know that the cells are removed from the living, that is in vivo environment, and they are introduced into the in vitro environment, that is the culture system. Because and their viability assumes significance. So viability of the cells, what it is exactly? That it represents the capability of their existence, survival and development. So for the purpose of cells to survive, to exist and development, it represents the capability. That is the cell viability. Now many different experiments are carried out in culture medium in culture rather than using the animal models. Now this is because of the reason that the determination of safety is there and the cytotoxicity of several compounds like drugs and food additives, pharmaceutical, cosmetics. In vitro testing for cytotoxicity and safety evaluation is cost effective. But then this, uh, it reduces the use of the animals. So studies on cytotoxicity what it is, it involves the metabolic alterations of the cells, including the death of the cells as a result of toxic effects of the compounds. Now, anti-cancer drugs, one may look for death of cells, but for the cosmetics, the metabolic alterations and allergic responses may be more important. So this is the example of cytotoxicity. Now coming to the limitations of in, vit in vitro cytotoxic studies. Toxicity of a given compound is a complex process and because it occurs in the in vivo condition and it may result in direct damage to cells, alterations in physiological and biochemical functions, inflammatory changes and other systemic effects. It not only affects the application site but also it affects some other sites. Now this is because of the reference to systemic responses, metabolism and pharmacokinetics. Tissue and systemic responses. Now the tissue and uh, systemic responses, what it is, the cultured cells represent the cells in isolation and not in at the integral part of the tissue or an organ. The nature of the in vitro effect is measured by the cell survival or by an altered uh, metabolic effect. But the in vivo reactions are complicated they may lead to tissue responses that is the inflammatory reactions or systemic responses like the vascular dilation. So the in vitro cytotoxic responses have to be considered very carefully. Some of the attempts are made to create the in vitro organotypic cultures by assembly of different cell types. Now it is not possible to observe all the tissue and systemic responses in this way. So, these are the limitations of the in vitro cytotoxic studies. Now, coming to the metabolism. We know that metabolism is a complex process and some of the compounds are detoxified uh, by liver. Less toxic uh, can convert the converted to the more toxic ones in the liver. So, in vitro cells are exposed to the same type of compound that is formed in liver after detoxification. So this is nothing but the metabolism. Now coming to the pharmacokinetics. When the body is exposed to drug, there occurs a tissue penetration, metabolism clearance and excretion constituting an organized pharmacokinetics. So it is not possible always to stimulate these parameters in isolated cells. So the use of multicellular spheroids has got certain advantages to understand the drug penetration. So this is nothing but the pharmacokinetics. Now in the coming lesson we will learn about the different assays of uh, the cell test, uh, cytotoxicity and viability. Thank you for watching.